Hello, welcome to Painting Out Your Sadness. I'm your host, Swans. Every once in a while, life, as dandy as it is, it takes a turn for the worse. And you get a little depressed and you feel a little sad. And I think the best way to handle that, instead of punching a hole in the wall or in someone's face, it's better to punch a hole figuratively into the canvas. As you can see, my canvas is a little bit small today. Coincidentally, uh, how I'm feeling. So, I think it works great. And we're just gonna get started. We're just gonna, we're just gonna fill this space with all of our sadness. And then hopefully, we won't be sad anymore. Get up nice and close and intimate. I know intimacy can be quite hard when you're, when you're feeling sad. That's it. We're going to start off by laying our background colors. Keep in mind that since we're painting on such a small canvas, we probably don't need as much paint as I used. I know some of you out there are thinking, Sarah, that's not actually a canvas. Uh, that's a piece of paper. It's a painting pad, okay? She's thick with two C's and she's used for painting on. So, incidentally, you're right. It is a thick canvas and that's just one more reason for me to be sad. If I drop one more paintbrush, I'm going to pick it up and continue my painting because that's the constructive way to handle those emotions. Why so much black, you ask? First of all, that's a great question, thank you. Um, and second of all, it actually depicts the way that I feel on the inside. I would tell you to follow the darkness and to let your hate consume you but I'm pretty sure that's how you become a Sith Lord. So unless you want to become like a Sith Lord, I would say it, all good things in moderation. And I dropped another paintbrush. Don't worry about your blue slowly becoming more gray. You'll find that most blue days are gray when you're feeling this way. No need to run from reality. Coffee, to give you the much needed energy you- We're just getting out of bed is the hardest thing you have to do every day, let alone dealing with anything else. Isn't coffee just amazing? <laughs> because this is not a canvas, the paint dries really fast, which is not ideal. I often wish that I could get over things that quickly. It's uh, often nice to listen to some sad music while you paint something sad. It's, I mean, listen to whatever music uh, speaks to the way that you're feeling. It really helps those emotions get flowing. Do not be surprised if it also makes you cry hysterically. Uh, not that I personally have any experience with that, but let's just say it can be very touching. It's at this point in your painting where, you're, where you question whether or not you should even continue. Always continue. See things through to the end. You know, my brother once said, Hey guys, all Sarah paints is bloody women. Do you think there's something wrong with her? No, there isn't because I'm getting my sadness out. Don't bottle up your sadness. During sad painting, it can be helpful to ask yourself questions like, how did I get here? And do I deserve this? It might not always be as constructive to answer those questions, especially if you're prone to bouts of self-deprecation. Why don't you love me? What could I have been better at? Uh, what could I have done differently? <laughs> not the thickness. I mean, get up, come on, get down with the thickness. Your mother get up, come on, get down with the thickness. Am I right? So if your sadness painting isn't quite uh, turning out the way you want it to, that's totally fine because uh, how did we get here in the first place? <laughs> because things didn't turn out the way you wanted them to. I personally think it really speaks to reality. It's nice in moments like these to have a really good dose of reality. The most important thing to remember uh, during your sadness painting is that you're in control of this landscape, okay? You finally get to be in control of something and it's a lot of pressure. And there you have a very nice completed session 
of painting out your sadness. I do think this looks better in real life, which is making me sad. This is about getting out your feelings so you do not bottle them up and allow them to eat you from the inside out. Now, before anybody comments and says that I'm insensitive in some way or another towards people who are sad and do this, let me explain that some people get their sadness out through humor. Uh, humor can be a very helpful coping mechanism and tool instead of wallowing and drowning in sadness. Uh, I like to make a joke out of my feelings sometimes. But depression and sadness and things like that are very serious. I do not take it lightly. I do genuinely use art as a form of self-expression to keep me from going insane. So please remember, not everybody expresses themselves the same exact way. And uh, I'm not making fun of you or anyone else. I am making light of a personal situation so that I feel better about it. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Paint your sadness out, everybody. Okay, you can click all of my buttons. You can click my subscribe circle or the video or playlist that is listed. You will also find a link to my Patreon, where you can support me if you choose to. Bye!